Okay, so this morning we're looking at a horse that's got a condition called EOTRH, uh, which stands for equine odontoclastic tooth resorption and hypersemantosis. That's a mouthful. Um, it's probably one of the most painful dental conditions there are in horses. Uh, it's, it, there's more and more awareness of it now, but it's still under-recognized, and it's typically a challenging diagnosis for owners because what happens is they think their horse is fine, doing great, they haven't noticed any major issues, and then you come along and you recognize this problem, and we're gonna show you a case here. Um, and so a little, that can be kind of a shocker, but it's, it's such an important disease to diagnose and treat uh, as, as early as you can. So if we look at these teeth here, you can see all of this really irritated gingiva, this gingivitis. Um, We've got teeth that have shifted because they've become unstable. A lot of times you'll have drain tracks. This case is pretty severe. Sometimes it can be milder. Sometimes there'll just be swelling and enlargement here. Uh, we'll show you here on the side. Okay, so here you can see how this tooth is full of resorption and it's starting to come out of the socket. Sometimes it can actually break. So now we're looking at these x-rays and we can see all of this dark area here signifies resorption. That's where the tooth is being broken down and eaten up by the body and, and bacteria. And we can see all of these darker areas around here. That's bone infection. We even have maybe a tooth that's about to fracture right here. Look at the bottom ones and we can see we've got a big abscess around here. We have one tooth here that's already broken off. And then this one here is about to break in the middle. So. The only treatment for the very affected teeth is extraction. One of the things that, that I've, everybody that practices a lot of dentistry can tell you consistently is that virtually without exception, every one of these horses where we take out the painful teeth, the clients see some kind of improvement. It can be different things, it, it, but there's always some change in behavior, sometimes dramatic, sometimes subtle, but something always changes for the better where they basically are displaying more signs of comfort. And so for owners that are scared or reluctant, if you have this disease condition and it's in a moderate to severe form, sometimes the milder ones you can leave the teeth, but the moderate to severe forms, if you take out those affected teeth, virtually every single time without exception, you will see some improvements in the, in the horse. Even if you don't think they're having issues, I promise you that they're having issues. And the other thing is sometimes I hear people that are concerned um, they say, oh, well, my horse is 25 or 23 or, you know, it's too old. I don't want to put it through all of that. Actually, the surgery is not, um, it's not a big deal. It's always done standing. And this disease typically affects older horses every time. So, um, you know, I, the, the, about the youngest it's reported in it is 15. And so typically, on average, I would say you're seeing it in horses that are in the 19 to 23 years old bracket. And so... You know, it's thinking that they're too old um, is it, that's really not the case at all. They're virtually all in that same category.